Hi there, and thanks for watching. My name is Stephen Campbell, and I'm the pastor at the International Baptist Church of Bonn in Germany. I'm so glad you've joined us. You're watching the 19th video in our series, What Christians Believe. We're taking a look at the basic beliefs of the Christian faith as part of our aim at IBC Bonn to lay a strong foundation for our members so they can have an active faith in a consistent Christian life. In the previous video, I explained why it's important to us that Jesus ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. In this video, we'll look at what it means for us that Jesus will someday come back to earth to act as a judge. Don't forget that we have been walking slowly through this ancient summary of the confession of the Christian's belief called the Apostles' Creed. It doesn't contain everything that Christians believe, uh, but it is a good summary of what Christians believe. Today, we'll be looking at that line that's highlighted for you in bold. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. There is no doubt about it. We live in a broken and fallen world. Sin and sadness are all around us. We still struggle with temptation and sin, and that temptation is all around us, and it's also inside of us. There is famine and war and abuse and corruption. There is sin out in the open, and there is sin that goes unknown, unseen by those around us. All of this makes us feel the great need for a righteous and just ruler. We need a judge who will punish evil and reward good. We need a judge who will not be bribed or fooled. We need a judge who knows all things. Well, Christians believe that when Christ returns, he will come as a righteous judge to punish all evildoers. But he will take his chosen ones to himself into heavenly joy and glory. This is a cause for great rejoicing. There is so much evil that goes unnoticed. There is so much abuse and hurting. And the Bible is very clear about what God thinks of this. The Bible is clear that God is saddened that his world has become this way. He is saddened that powerful people abuse their power. He is saddened that widows and orphans are not taken care of. But the Bible is also clear that God will come again one day and make all things right. He will punish all evil and wickedness. And he will take his people who are lowly in spirit and raise them up to glory where he is. In fact, the Bible says that while Jesus is up in heaven, God is at work right now bringing all things in heaven and on earth and under the earth under the reign and rule of Jesus. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And since Jesus is in heaven, heaven is our true home. That is where our Father is. That is where our brother Christ is. We are strangers and foreigners here on the earth we do not truly belong, but are waiting to go home to be with the Lord. That's why our memory verse this week comes from Colossians chapter 3. This is a reminder to keep our eyes on Christ where he is. He says, if then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Because our heavenly Father is, is in heaven, because our Lord Jesus is at his right hand in heaven, because we are waiting for him to return from heaven, our eyes must be set on the things above where he is. I want to thank you for joining us in this video. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and God bless you. We are at IBC Bonn, an international body of believers striving together to establish a gospel-centered community in Bonn by the increase of love for God, each other, and our neighbors. I want to invite you to join us for worship on Sundays. Reach out to us if you have any questions. God bless you.